In this video, I'll be walking you through the steps of analyzing a target with a, either a housekeeping protein or a post-translational modification. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the tutorials project right here, and I'm going to click on New Experiment. And this video combines both the housekeeping protein and the post-translational modification because it's the exact same steps all throughout the process. So I'm going to click on housekeeping protein right here. And as with the other videos in this series, I'm going to click on the image gallery. But if you have images that you want to bring in from another work area on the same computer, or if you have zip files that you have exported from Image Studio, you can click on either one of those. So here, I'm going to pull in image uh, 463. I'm going to select that. And I can view my images right here and, and see that those are the ones that I want. So I'm going to click on Start. And the images that I have on here have both tubulin and BCL2. So I will label these as needed. And then click Next. So I'm going to define my lanes right here. just by clicking and dragging that. Um, I have 13 lanes on here. And if need be, I can adjust the boundary to make sure that those uh, lane lines are going uh, somewhat through the center of the lanes. And click Done. And then Next. Now I do have replicates on here. I have three lanes, each loaded with um, the same amount of protein and the same treatment. So I'm going to link those together, just like that. And these are Jercat cells. And my first replicate are the untreated controls. And these, these have been treated with a toposide. So I'm just going to copy that information into my other replicate names and then click Next. So my first lane here is the molecular weight marker, so I'm going to label that as the molecular weight. Uh, there was no treatment, so I don't need to put anything in that section. Uh, you can also add the amount of drug that was used, the concentration, dosage, but for, uh, for this Western, I'm going to use treatments. And so for my untreated lanes, uh, those have zero. I have then 33%, 66%, and 100%. So for molecular weight determination, I need to choose the correct molecular weight marker. In this particular image, it is the Chameleon Duo 700. And I'm going to add the bands on here. And then I can adjust those also if I need to uh, move them around. Uh, but those are in the correct location, so I'm going to click on Next. I can either click on the Add Band and add these markers individually, or if I click on the Find Bands, I can move this line into the proper location and do a single click, and it will determine the size and location of the boxes for me. Now, if need be, you can also adjust these, uh, the height, the width, and um, overall location of them. But everything looks okay here, so I'm going to click on Next. Now for my target protein, uh, everything looks pretty much the way it's supposed to. I'm going to adjust the boundary just a slightly right there and click Done and then Next. Now everything is uh, carried over from the previous information, so this is just uh, so that you can take a look and make sure everything is correct. For my molecular weight marker, I have the Chameleon Duo uh, 800. I'm going to add bands to this. And then click Done. And then Next. Now again, I can either add the bands individually or I can let Imperia find the bands for me. So I move that to the proper location, do a single click, 
and then again if you need to you can adjust the the size and location but everything looks okay with that so I will click on next at this point so my untreated I'm going to set as my control but I will also include all my other replicates on here and I'm going to um, call this fold change and you can look at the graph either as a scatter plot or as a bar part chart um, so we have the controls right here and then we can look at the various treatments uh, and the, then they also do have the standard deviation for each one of the treatments on there so from there we can review the data so I have my loading control here uh, my housekeeping protein uh, tubulin in the upper image then I have all of the data tables loaded underneath it then along with the target protein and also its data tables and the charts all in one location so if you want to at this point you can export this uh, report as a PDF or you can export it as an experimental file for use on another computer for someone else to look at you can also rate this uh, depending on how you th thought the experiment went anywhere from one to five stars thank you